In this video, let's see how to install Ubuntu server on VirtualBox. So of course, I'm assuming you already have VirtualBox installed and it doesn't matter which platform you're using. I'm running VirtualBox on Ubuntu and I want to install Ubuntu server on VirtualBox, but you can still follow along. Go and download Ubuntu server, search for Ubuntu server, get Ubuntu server, Ubuntu server, 24.4 is the latest you can download that or if you want all the downloads like 2204 you can click there on alternative downloads and here you can get 2204 in my case i'm going to go with 2404 the lts version so download it i already have it downloaded i'm assuming you're going to need to use the networks so the network is going to work by default if you use the NAT network and if you want to be able to access your virtual machine via the host you need to connect it to the host only adapter so you can create a host only network if you go under file tools and then you go to network manager and here you can create a new host only network so you can see there is host only there select it and then create you can change the IP range for what you want it for so I'm just going to click on it and I want my IPs to be 192.168.3. And I'm just going to apply. If you're on Linux and this doesn't work, you'll receive a certain error. And I have a video for that, how to fix that issue. So if you experience that issue, just look in the description. There's a video for fixing that. So once you create the network there, let's create our virtual machine. So if I click on any virtual machine there, it will bring me back to this window and I'm going to click on new. I will give my virtual machine a name. I'll just call this Ubuntu demo. I'll call it Ubuntu demos for demonstrations that I usually do on YouTube. And folder, you can change the folder or you can just leave the default folder there. And then the ISO image, select the the Ubuntu that you've just downloaded. In my case, I'm going to select that. Just search for it. You can click there on other and it will give you the opportunity to find the version you've downloaded. So I'm going to go with 24.4. I want to skip an attended installation because first of all, I want to go, I want to go and attach the host only network adapter that I've just created for my Ubuntu. Unattended install, you don't need that. Hardware, hardware, select how much memory you want to give it, how many CPUs you want to give it. I'll just stick with one CPU. Hard disk, select the disk space you want to allocate to this virtual machine, to this Ubuntu virtual machine. And just like that, I'm going to click finish. And then I will click on it, click on the virtual machine, Ubuntu demos. And here under network, I'm going to click on network. I want to attach adapter two. You can see adapter one is not only, is not adapter. Now the NAT adapter will automatically give us internet connectivity. So just leave that on. And then adapter two, here I want to enable adapter two and I want to attach the host only adapter. And this is going to give me a way to SSH into my virtual machine from my local computer. So host only adapter, and that's pretty much it. Select the select the network here and it was VBox Network 1. Just go back to tools and confirm which network it was. The one that I created with 192.168.3.3 was VBox Net 1. And then I'm going to click there on OK. And you can click there, you can change the network adapter. Let me just confirm if that was the one because I have two of them. Network Manager. Yes, it was. VBox network one for 192, 168. Okay, it didn't save, but let me just correct it again. This is a, something that happens on Linux. If you're on Windows, you're not going to experience this problem. So just apply to make sure it has changed. There we go. So now we're going to connect to that. So you see, it's a good thing I came here because I realized that the edit 
was not persistent and dhcp server make sure it is not enabled because we are going to attach we are going to assign a static ip so i'm going to go to demos and i'm going to start the virtual machine I'll just press enter to try or install Ubuntu. Okay, finally, I can select the language. I'm just going to press enter. And then here as well, I'm just going to continue without updating. And then here, I'm just going to click on done. Here as well, click on done. And this is a part where we can assign our static IP. So you can see the first IP has been given automatically. And that is because the NAT IP, the NAT network has assigned a network IP that can access the internet. So the next one is for us to give this a static IP that we can use to manage the server. So I'm just going to press enter. Under edit IPv4, I'm going to select manual and then i'm going to give it the network so the subnet for the network you can see the subnet is the subnet is slash 24 so let's enter that here 192.168.3.0 slash 24 that is our subnet of 24 and then the address you can give it any address so I'm going to give it an address of 192.168.3.5 and that's the one we're going to use to access it. There we go. That's the IP we'll use for it. And then I'm just going to skip all the others. Don't enter anything. Just save. Give it time to apply the changes. And then we can click on done i'll skip that just click on done and then here it will just confirm if it can access the internet by accessing the repositories and just make sure that here you get hit and get that means that internet connectivity is available if you receive an error here you can go back and you're going to need to set up your network this just confirms internet connectivity. So once I've seen hit get, I'm sure that network is working. So I'm just going to click on done. I'm going to use the entire disk. I'm not going to change any settings for the disks. So I'm going to do done and then done and then continue. Give your computer a name. I'll just call mine Ubuntu demos. Your server name give it a name i'm just going to call this one as well ubuntu demos pick a username username i'll just go with ubuntu choose a password for your username done and then enable ubuntu pro we're going to skip that just click continue and then install open ssh server definitely i want to be able to ssh into this server from my machine and then done i'll just press tab I'll just press tab to go to done and give it time and give it time to install and then you can come back to reboot so when you see reboot now just know that the installation is complete so i'm just going to scroll until i get to reboot now and then enter it should automatically unmount the ubuntu iso but even if it doesn't just press enter and it's going to restart at this point just press enter and you should be able to log into your new ubuntu virtual machine but i'm going to ssh into the server i will open up my terminal and i can do ssh the user was ubuntu 
dot five. Enter the password that you set for your user. There you go. You're now logged into your Ubuntu VirtualBox machine. Control L, you can update. There you go. That is how to install a virtual box. That is how to install an Ubuntu server on your virtual box. If you experience any issue, just let me know in the comments below and I will see how to assist.